Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome one and all to my late not so great review. Uh, why is it called the late not so great review? Well, it's pretty simple. You will never know. Today's review is going to be about Avengers, Marvel's Avengers, which is the latest game from like the game verse for Marvel and Sony that they're putting together and trying to tie all the games in like they did for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So that way they can make boatloads of cash. So I'm going to talk about the good. I'm going to talk about the bad. And then we're going to talk about the meh, may okay. It's going to be a little bit more free flow, free form. Let's get into it. First things first, we'll talk about the good. What did I like about this game? Well, I like the gameplay. The game is fun to play. Flying around as Iron Man is a lot of fun. I think Iron Man is the best character in the game. He has the most like variety, I'd say, out of the bunch. He has different propulsors, he has different lasers, he has rockets. He flies around, I think, the best. Thor is really fun to play as at first. Just the clink clank of his hammer is so satisfying. Throwing it and calling it back, one of the best things that I've ever done in a video game. I never got a chance to play God of War, so that really makes me want to play it just for the axe throwing alone. Captain America was good. Hulk was good. Ms. Marvel, she's like our main protagonist. She does really well playing. So those were just, it was just really fun. I was really impressed that they got everybody to feel like their own character. Nobody felt the same. Nobody felt like, like clones of each other. So Iron Man felt like Iron Man. The Hulk felt like the Hulk. Captain America felt like Captain America. Overall, it was just everybody felt unique, everybody felt good, and it was a good time to play. My only one criticism of the game is that it feels kind of forced to play with multiplayer in, in some parts. Like Captain America can't break through the like breakable doors like with a heavy attack that Miss Marvel and the Hulk can. Almost everybody, I know that Iron Man can't unless he's in his uh, Hulkbuster armor. I and mean, I barely played as Black Widow, but I'm assuming she can't either. So if you're playing as one of those people solo, you can't break through those doors. You can't get all the gear. So that's kind of frustrating. Another thing that's kind of frustrating, just kind of gameplay wise, is the loot doesn't really feel all that valuable. I guess that's a good word. I definitely noticed a power increase, but it didn't feel worthwhile to get. I got it because I could and I knew that it would help me in the long run. But if I missed out on a piece of like gear, I wasn't crying about it. It didn't change anything aesthetically. I mean, you can get a st costumes and stuff in the game, but I mean, you have to like grind for those and pay for those with microtransactions and yada, yada, yada. I don't deal with that kind of stuff because I don't want to spend more money for cosmetic content unless it's adding something to the game, like story stuff which is something we'll talk about later. But overall gameplay was a lot of fun. I would definitely, I'm definitely gonna play it with my friends. Uh, everybody felt good to play as. So I would play that game again, just to play the game again, if I wanted to feel like somebody. And that's really all I have to say about it being good. <laughs> Everything else is meh or bad. So let's get into that. The meh. The meh. So what is the meh? The meh is the story. I feel like, the story is okay. The story is a basically a bunch of like a, imagine like a boy band. A boy band breaks up because their lead singer dies. Or first of all, spoiler. okay. Spoiler warning. Uh, I mean, you can. This is it goes into why this is man. You can call. You could literally pick up the phone <clears throat> from like from 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 jump and be like, listen, this is what's gonna happen. And then you'd pick up the phone later and be like, yeah, I called it. Right, so that's how that's how obvious the story goes. It's not complicated at all, but we'll get to that. But spoilers in case you don't want to know what happens in the game, you can skip ahead. But what happens in the game is boy band breaks up because their lead singer dies, and then this super ultra mega fan girl is like, "Let's get the band back together." They get the band back together, and then they find out lead singer is alive, and now that they're they're the Avengers again fighting big brain five head dude right so <clears throat> the story was just meh i really enjoyed some of the characters like kamala khan our main character i related to her the most uh only because she and i would have done the same things in like a bunch of different ways kamala khan 
is basically me <laughs> in any given situation. Me and her do a lot of the same thing, like would have done a lot of the same things. Like the like I was doing that in the game. Talking about Cap's shield, if I could meet these characters, I would, and this is how it would be. Iron Man was also really, really nice. I love Nolan North's performance of him. I felt like he did really well. Troy Baker as Bruce Banner. Also, I feel like he had the best performance out of the bunch. He, I really bought that he was like really, really awkward, trying to like just be super calm all the time. He didn't know what he was doing or how to like help Kamala and like mentor her and raise her. And they really helped each other out. That's something I really bought, which was important for me to buy that relationship. There's a few characters that I felt like were really missing just from the game overall. We rarely, rarely get to hang out with Thor, like at all. Black Widow, it was like hit or miss. I mean, we got to hang out with her, but like not really. I, and Captain America, obviously, he died in the beginning, comes back later. So we get like the least amount of time. Actually, you know what? I take it back. I think we get more time with Cap than we do with Thor. So it's interesting. Uh, but I mean, overall, story is like simple. It's pretty standard. I don't hate it by any means, but it doesn't inspire me to be like, I want to. I want to know what happens next or whatever because it's kind of left open-ended another thing that i really didn't like about the story is that we never officially get to see kamala become an avenger i know that's like an extra bonus scene in the game that like you'd be like 100 percent in or something but i feel like that's something that's so pivotal to the story and her character that it shouldn't be something that's hidden i feel like something that's extra that's like behind 100 percent completion so it'd be like a teaser or something like more interesting rather than like oh you become an avenger which i feel like is something that completes her arc and i didn't get a chance to 100 percent complete it so i never got that so it felt open-ended for me now some of the bad stuff some of the bad stuff was the performance on day one just going forward i'm sure they fixed a bunch of stuff by this point but my biggest thing was was i was playing it there were very f there were few glitches there weren't like a uh, it was like a handful which i think i was very fortunate a lot of people experienced a lot more glitches but like i saw captain america's mace just <laughs> i saw i saw thor like like glitch out i just saw i just saw a bunch of like really weird stuff especially towards the end and i feel like with the company that developed this game square enix they should have more higher standards for their game and just crystal dynamics in general because i've seen them make some high quality games so this is kind of a letdown. Another bad thing that I would say is, although the characters all feel different to play as, they, some of them aren't as interesting to play as as others. Like I said, Thor was really fun to play as at first, but got kind of stale later on. The Hulk like was like a lot of fun to play as. I love picking people up and slamming them around, but he also got kind of repetitive the more I played as him. The really fun people to play as was Iron Man, Kamala Khan, and Captain America only because I like throwing his shield and like throwing it and then kicking it and then like kicking it again. I felt like his shield offered enough variety for me to warrant playing as him more. But like I only played as Black Widow when I had to. I rarely played as the Hulk. I played mostly as Iron Man just because he was the best. So and the flying in that game is awesome. I would I would fly around that whole city just all the time. So yeah, the characters are fun to play, but that'd be another another criticism I have of the game. So overall, would I recommend it? I would absolutely recommend this game if it were like on sale. Uh, like 75% or 50%, 25% off, something like that. Yeah, unless you're like a super ultra mega Marvel fan, which you already have it, that's the point. Like I got it like right away. But it's definitely not on the same quality or the same tier as Spider-Man for PS4, which is the universe they're trying to connect. And I feel like if they really want to make a good foothold and do what they want to do with the with the gaming civil like Marvel universe as the same as the Marvel Cinematic Universe, then everything needs to be on the same level of quality. So like Captain America, for the first Avenger, and Iron Man were like same quality. You can like either movie more, but they're both well made. Just like how all the Avengers movies are all well made. This game although it's a lot of fun to play, isn't really all that well made, unfortunately. So, and it sucks even more because as of recording this, Spider-Man for PS5, Miles Morales, hasn't come out yet, but I can already tell you that that game is higher quality made, it's gonna be a lot more fun to play, 
and it's just going to be a lot more interesting story even though the story is i think a little shorter than marvel's avengers so they really need to step up their game if they really want to connect these two so yeah buy if it's on sale if it's something that you might be interested in and if not just watch somebody play it so that's all i got for you guys i hope uh you guys enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll uh, catch you guys later bye